AI was only really actualized beginning in the 1950s, but the idea of artificial intelligence dates all the way back to ancient Greece. Greek philosophers theorized people or machines acting of their own will, which they referred to as automaton. For example, back in 400 BCE, an ancient inventor designed an automated pigeon. The real work began in the 1900s, but the biggest advancements were made in the 1950s. Many scientists and philosophers alike began to contemplate AI, namely British mathematician Alan Turing. In 1950, he published Computing Machinery and Intelligence, which was a series of different tests to use on machines to determine if they really are sentient. There were two main reasons why AI wasn't fully fleshed out until 1950. One, computers lacked the intelligence to carry out more nuanced commands. And two, computing was wildly expensive. In 1950, it could cost up to $200,000 a month to lease a computer. Between 1957 and 1974, AI really began to flourish. Computer technology was advancing rapidly and becoming far more accessible. Machine learning algorithms became better, and scientists were better equipped at knowing which algorithm to use to solve a problem. These huge successes and pushes from leaders in the industry lead to government agencies, such as the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, to invest in AI research. There was particular interest in transcribing spoken language and high data processing. Yet one challenge still remained, computer power was still lacking. Computers simply couldn't store the vast amount of information required nor process that information fast enough. AI was reimagined in the 1980s, John Hopfield and David Rummelhart popularized deep learning, where computers learning from experience. Edward Feigenbaum created expert systems, which mimicked the decision-making process of human experts in a field. This program would take advice from experts on how to solve a problem, and once it had responses for almost every situation, non-experts could use this program to get knowledge. This system was used across industries. In the 1990s and 2000s, we began to see many AI landmarks become fulfilled. In 1997, reigning world chess champion and grandmaster Garry Kasparov was defeated by IBM's Deep Blue, a chess-playing computer program. This match was widely publicized and was the first time a reigning world chess champion lost to a computer. In the same year, speech recognition software was implemented into Windows. Moore's Law, which states that the memory and speed of computers doubles every year, had finally not only caught up to human intelligence, but even surpassed out needs. This was how Deep Blue was able to beat Garry Kasparov. Now, we live in the age of big data, meaning computers have the capacity to store huge sums of data, more than a human could ever process. By the way, if you like this content, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Okay, back to the video. In recent years, AI has only grown to be more impressive. Earlier AI systems were photo-based, focused strictly on faces and images. Newer models focus on text-to-image generation. This timeline shows AI image generation starting back in 2014, and especially highlights how rapidly technology has advanced. The newest prompt is particularly challenging, as a Pomeranian is sitting on the king's throne wearing a crown. Two tiger soldiers are standing next to the throne. It only took seconds to generate a photorealistic image. Where does that leave us today? AI is not only wildly advanced, but accessible. We use AI every day and might not even know it, from our TikTok algorithms learning what we like to see, to you.com having an AI chatbot available on our search engine. AI has surpassed expectations and is growing at an extremely rapid rate. ChatGPT and image generators are now a standard. Jobs even require new applicants to know how to use AI to their advantage. There's no way of knowing where AI will go in the future, but scientists can speculate. While AI has become tremendously intelligent and, to many of us, surreal, just remember that there were those who always believed in it and worked to drive AI to become what it is today even an ancient Greek man designing a mechanical bird.